hello welcome to the channel i am harish and in this channel i showcase different kinds of no code tools and some ideas of how you can use no code tools to build stuff without uh, pretty much writing zero coding uh, in programming languages or knowing any programming languages essentially and uh, in this video what i'm going to talk about is uh, how you can create a simple ifsc uh, validation application that can run on ios android or even the web right so what is ifsc ifsc, IFSC pretty much stands for uh, indian financial system code it's a 11 digit uh, alpha numeric uh, format that is given to banks which is uh, validated when uh, someone wants to send uh, any ft money transfer from their account to somebody else's account so ifsc is the code that validates if the bank that you're transferring the money to exists so what is the real use case uh, for this example you can use this uh, like a, a validation application where you know if uh, ifsc code is valid or not but the primary idea for making this video is to showcase uh, the simplicity of using a api and sending a uh, user input to an api and uh, then reading the user input and pretty much validating uh, the entire scenario so uh, that's what i would say if you want to see what this video is all about so in this video we'll use a simple api from razorpay razorpay has an api that allows you to validate ifsc code so you go, if you go to ifsc.razorpay.com and pass the ifsc code that you want to validate against you'll get a response so this is a valid code so i'm going to show you how to pull data from here and showcase in the application uh, if you pass a invalid uh, ifsc code you will get a not found response right so this is going to be the use case for this example and uh, you can use uh, uh, either Cordular or Thunkable. Cordular is uh, going to help you create only Android application but Thunkable allows you to create pretty much any any platform uh, agnostic application right. So uh, let's quickly see a demo first before we get into uh, the nuances of building it. So if you notice we have an input field and then once I enter the ifsc code and say get info what will happen is uh, it will say if it is a valid or an invalid one and we have a toggle so if i enable this it will give me the data uh, here in this case we are only showcasing the address you can pretty much showcase all the information that you get from the api here right so uh, without any further ado what we will do is we will create this ui where we have an image a heading and input field and a button and then a few hidden fields these are hidden uh, when the application opens to the user right because it doesn't make any sense to showcase any of these elements so let's get started with that so for that uh, the first step is obviously to create a new application i'm going to say ifsc app by default all the apps are uh, public so uh, if you want to create a private application you will have to pay to thunkable so what i'm going to do now is now that you know all the components i'm going to do a quick uh, fast forward video of uh, creating the UI and then I'll uh, show how to build the logic as the second part of this video. So uh, yep, let's go. Let's create the UI uh, first. Alright, so we have the UI ready, we have the input field. If you notice, uh, there are some hidden fields here, uh, which we will only display once we have the data from the API because it doesn't make sense to show those. And then the button is disabled and only we will enable it in the logic when somebody enters the IFSC code so that we don't send invalid requests to the API. That's the point of disabling the button. And uh, the last step is obviously to add the API itself. So I'm going to add uh, web api and call it uh, ifsc api 
that's it so that's pretty much the ui part now get let's jump into the second part of the video which is creating the logic for this and also making sure we enable all these once we have information from the api so that's also going to be fast forward so make sure you slow down the video in case you want to watch it at your own pace and understand uh, the logic Great, so that's pretty much the logic uh, for the entire application. I'll quickly explain to you which blocks I'm using and why I'm using them. One is uh, when the screen opens, we'll obviously check if the field is empty and if it is empty, we disable the button. Otherwise, we enable the button. And uh, when somebody enters a value, so when the code itself changes, as in the input field changes, we enable the button immediately. And this one is basically the toggle. So if somebody is uh, enabling the toggle, we need to make sure if it is uh, true and then display the bank address otherwise we disable it right and uh, the next one is obviously when the user clicks on get info button what we are doing is first we are showing a loading icon and then we are calling the api so here if you notice we am setting the api url and then uh, okay i just forgot uh, to append the user input so quickly do that so join is essentially used to append uh, text Two text values or you can actually add multiple text values by clicking on this one so here i am going to do uh, the ifsc dot get text so yeah so i am setting the url to this and then calling through get because this api only supports get and uh, if an api returns a value in the browser it pretty much uses get as a protocol Right, so once we have the response, I'm setting it into one variable and then I'm checking if the variable is uh, not found. If it is not found, I'm displaying the invalid uh, IFSC value. And if it is valid, if, if the value is not equal to not found, what I'm doing is I'm fetching the address and assigning it to this variable. And then uh, we'll also have to set this to, we're setting this to visible when the toggle is happening. So we don't have to set it to visible here and uh, yeah let's quickly test it uh, you can click on live test you can download the thunkable app on your mobile if you want to test this on mobile or you can click here uh, and it will open up a web app right here in the browser or you can test the app entirely right here itself so um, let me quickly uh, enable this so if you notice once i enter this it it is not uh, enabling the button so let me check uh, what the value is if i have a code uh, let me see if the name is the right one so yeah ifsc code is the right name so i'm going to go back to the blog when screen opens when ifsc code changes disabled is equal to false yeah so when the text value changes we need to enable the button so hdfc this is one of the ifsc codes so yeah it shows it is valid and also shows us the uh, toggle and if you've noticed there was the lo loading one but since the api is pretty much fast you won't be able to notice the loading uh, icon and once i enable it address shows up so we've appended address text and then the address from the api response so 
if you click on it it hides the address so that's it if you've learned something new from this video please drop a like to this video and uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed already consider subscribing that will help me uh, put out more such content uh, and uh, create more uh, such applications using different types of tools available uh, online and uh, yeah that's it for this video peace